I'm Peter, and welcome to another edition of F5 Dev Central's Lightboard Lessons. The term proxy is a contraction from the Middle English word procuracy. It's a legal term that means to act on behalf of another. You may have heard of proxy vote or vote by proxy where you make your selection, you send it in, and someone else does the actual voting for you and inserting the ballot. In computer networking, a proxy is a device or server that acts on behalf of another device. It sits between the client and the servers or the applications and often performs a service both on the request and sometimes on the response. So the first kind of proxy we're going to look at is a half proxy. So we have our client here, our infamous internet cloud, the proxy, and then our applications. And this one would be a half proxy. So in a half proxy, the client will connect to the proxy. The proxy will then establish a connection to the applications, the resources on the back end. The resources will respond and then the proxy will pass back that response to the client. Now after that, after that initial call setup, the proxy really isn't doing anything after that. It's just allowing the traffic to pass through it back and forth between the client and the applications on the back end. It may be doing, you know, maybe some uh, layer four port mapping, maybe some routing, uh, maybe some natting, but it's really not doing anything intelligent. So it does the initial setup and then just passes traffic back and forth. Another good use case for the half proxy is direct server return. So things like uh, streaming protocols, for instance, in that situation, the client will again connect to the proxy, proxy connects to the application, and then the streaming protocols will actually simply bypass the proxy and go back directly to the client. That's how the, you know, a lot of these streaming protocols and direct server return works. And one of the reasons obviously is to, um, you know, not use up resources on this half proxy for things that can be done direct. So there's your half proxy. Next, let's look at a full proxy. And so here we got our client, our internet, and I got a squeaky, squeaky marker. So let's so I trade that one out. And we got our proxy again, and then our applications, and then this one, oops, this one would be our full proxy. Now in a full proxy situation, the client connects and actually terminates on the full proxy. And then with a full proxy, there's this little gap in the middle. And then the connection to the server or the applications is actually a separate TCP connection. So client terminates on this full proxy and then the full proxy will establish a second and separate connection to the applications on the back end. And this gap in here is where a lot of uh, intelligence resides in a full proxy. And so in this situation, the proxy can perform certain services and it can manipulate or inspect or drop um, any sort of traffic that's coming through this gap. Since none of this traffic on either end is blended, come in, come out, the application then connects back to this connection and again back out to the client, the separate connection to the client. So that would be your full proxy, two separate connections on either end as opposed to the half proxy where after the first call setup, um, traffic just passes through. 
So now with the full proxy, let's clean this up a little and let's put in big IP, big IP. And so when we talk about big IP's full proxy architecture, this is really what we're talking about, the two separate connections, the separate connections, traffic's never blended on either end. Now, when Big IP is on the server side um, as a full proxy, on the server side of the connection, it's what's called a reverse proxy. Client connects, um, the traffic comes in, and within this full proxy architecture and this gap, is where um, you know reverse proxies are good for things like obviously load balancing the big IP. So load balancing, um, SSL offload, terminating SSL here, inspecting the traffic, passing it on. Oh, things like optimization, optimizing traffic here within this gap. Um, you can do things like security on this end if you like. So for instance, up here with layer four stuff, now granted Big IP can do layer four uh, type routing and traffic steering and such um, inspections, but say at the IP level, you would block certain, certain malicious networks and those sorts of things. Uh, with a full or with a reverse full proxy, you can go up to the stack to layer seven. And so not only can you do like IP based whitelisting and blacklisting, you can also now inspect HTTP traffic which is critically important. You could then also even put a big IP ASM, so a web application firewall policy here, and that policy would then inspect the traffic. It would inspect the traffic both on the way in to ensure nobody's trying any funny stuff on the back end, but it will also inspect traffic, the response on the way out potentially uh, masking or blocking sensitive information like credit card numbers or social security numbers. And so now on, if we then put big IP over on the client side, you like my smudge? Big IP. Now in this situation on the client side as a full proxy, this big IP would be a forward proxy. And so again, client connects to the forward proxy, to the big IP on the outbound request. And in this situation, the proxy will act on behalf of this client and then go out to the internet to retrieve whatever resources were requested. And so in this situation, um, what it can do having a forward proxy protecting your internal network. One, you can kind of mask the theater masks. How's that? You can mask your internal resources with a forward proxy. You can certainly do uh, filtering, outbound filtering. Maybe you want to block, you know, certain social media sites or uh, particular time wasters there at, um, in the office. So filtering, forwarding, you can do client side, client side caching. So over here you do server side caching. On this side, you know, say there's a, a viral video that went crazy and everybody wants to see this cat, new cat video out. You can do the client side caching, cache the video here um, on this end, and now you're not using up and chewing up your bandwidth. And certainly, you know, privacy, security, those sorts of things. And then finally, in this situation, you can also add some third party inspection tools. So maybe you have an ICAP server hanging off here as a third party inspection. You might want to send the traffic up here, attachments, um, you know, potential malicious uh, content, those sorts of things. Send it up to the ICAP make sure it's all good, and then send it out on its merry way. So a little light up, uh, that didn't really come out good, a light board lesson, if you will, about what is 
a proxy. And if you like this video, you can actually play along. Be my proxy and forward this along to others who might want to wonder about what is a proxy. I'm Peter. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the community.